Bumbet with me, Adi Abu Bet Wai Baya My NPM is 19-22-0-22-4 I am studying at Tikip Sirawami and I am from class B2 2019 Okay, in this video I will be explain about Introduction Introduction to interpreting. In this video, I will explain about introduction to interpreting. Now, the first is definition of interpreting. The second is historical background. The third is conference interpreting. The fourth is license and interpreting. And the last is difference in rule and status. Okay, the first is definition of the interpreting. Interpreting is the oral transfer of message between speaker of different language. Interpreting is just one of the oldest of human activities and the role of the interpreter is equally one of the oldest of the profession. Interpreting is transmission from the search language to the target language by spoken. Nah, the second is historical background. The first written rule of interpreting dates back to 2000 BC, at which time the ancient Egyptian had a hieroglyphic signifying interpreter. The next within now years of interpreting occurred in ancient Greece and Rome. For both the ancient Greeks and Romans, learning the language of the people that they conquered was considered very undignified. Furthermore, during this era and up until the 17th century, Latin was the lingua franca, or the language of diplomacy in Europe, and therefore a nation had to have some citizen who spoke Latin in order to carry on diplomatic relations. Throughout the centuries, interpreting become more and more widely spread due to a number of factors. The first is religion, the second is age of evolution, the third is international labor conference in Geneva, Switzerland in 1927. However, multilingual situation does not always require interpreting for some reason. The first is for some group. Individual and multilingualism is a common feature, the notable multilingualism of Australian Aboriginal groups. The second is communication problem may be overcome by use of a recognized lingual French the generally not the one of tongue. The third is something social groups gain multilingual skill because their particular roles. Traders. Uh, for is where geographical boundaries are soft, there may have been little understanding of the language of other who live even a little distance away. Now the third is type of interpreting. Now the first is conference interpreting and the second is license interpreting. Now the first is conference interpreting. A significant advance for conference interpreters came immediately after World War II when a number were crime tires. New technology allow experiment with simul channels interpreting. Where the interpreters work from sound, from wood, relay their message through airport to listen in the choral. <laughs> and the second is license interpreting. It has not always been seen by conference interpreters as an area of interpreting is our right but rather as a residual arm of language work at base or multilingual welfare work at most. In the post-World War II, it said, 
several social and economic development led to its growth. The two main areas of development were its international business contact and less spectacularly but more pervasively in relation to immigrant and indigenous population who did not speak the dominant language of their society. Last is difference in role and status. Just a international conference interpreter gain their status from the reflected status of the client they sell. So the reason interpreters in their varied role setting, the question of status and reflected status in turn very influences how their role and contribution are understood. Referring social and institutional norms will strongly affect the way in which interpreters function is understood. And, uh, uh, the summary is the development in license interpreting has been subject to two very influential forces that continue to determine its status and the understanding of its role. The world file of license interpreting has been profoundly influenced by its own social setting of minority majority relationship, education with minorities and minority interests, and broader status issue. In now from my video, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this YouTube channel as we do so See you next time and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.